And based on what you were describing, this could soon be the biggest story in the world, uh, literally the biggest story in the universe. Using equipment far less expensive than the instruments aboard billion dollar spacecraft, astronomers captured images of 3i Atlas that are sharper, clearer, and more detailed than anything the space agency has released. And people noticed. Side-by-side -side comparisons spread across social media within hours. On one side, Craig's crisp images showing structured geometry, distinct luminosity, and defined shape. On the other, NASA's soft, washed-out image that looks more like a rough calibration frame than the clearest view yet they promised. The contrast is impossible to ignore. One man with a backyard telescope outperformed the high-resolution imaging science experiment aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. An instrument that's captured detailed surface textures on Mars from hundreds of miles away suddenly can't deliver a clear image of an interstellar visitor? That's the question everyone's asking. And NASA's explanation isn't helping. If you're wondering why independent astronomers keep revealing details official channels won't show, hit subscribe. Because what Paul Craggs captured changes the conversation about 3i Atlas and raises bigger questions about what we're being shown. Paul Craggs, known in astronomy circles for his meticulous imaging techniques, had been tracking 3i Atlas since its first appearance. Unlike many observers, he approached the object with extended exposure imaging, advanced stacking techniques, and a refined calibration method he developed himself. His resulting images show a structured luminous body surrounded by a faint glowing envelope with distinct geometry. Multiple observations reveal an elongated luminous structure with what appears to be a central core and rising streams of reflected or emitted light on either side. The object looks neither like a comet nor a simple fragment of interstellar rock. Instead, its shape appears structured, symmetrical, and highly unusual. This has led many to believe Craggs captured features that NASA either didn't show or chose not to emphasize. NASA's live stream aired toward the end of October. The agency promoted it as the moment the public would finally receive a high-definition look at 3i Atlas. They emphasized that the high-resolution imaging science experiment camera on the Mars reconnaissance, Orbiter had captured what it described as one of the clearest views yet of the object. The world waited with great anticipation, especially after weeks of speculation and buildup. When the image was finally displayed, viewers were taken aback. Instead of the crisp, detailed portrait many expected from a multi-billion dollar spacecraft, they were presented with a soft, washed out appearance that provided only the faintest hint of the object's structure. The disappointment was immediate, social media quickly filled with side-by-side -side comparisons. The idea that a single individual with backyard equipment had outperformed one of the most advanced imaging instruments in the solar system became a major talking point. Observers found the timing of NASA's release particularly puzzling. Nearly a full month had passed since the high-resolution imaging science experiment had gathered the data. NASA explained the delay by referencing the government shutdown that had paused operations across multiple departments. Yet many found it difficult to accept that a single image, particularly one with so little detail, required the entire agency to be fully active in order to be shared publicly. A photograph of this nature could have been posted quickly and easily by a very small team, even during reduced activity. The prolonged silence left many believing the agency may have been deciding how best to handle information that appeared inconsistent with amateur observations. Craggs's photographs are now considered some of the most significant civilian images ever captured of an interstellar object. His commitment to multi-night imaging sessions, precise calibration, and comparison across multiple filters allowed him to reveal aspects of the object's structure that appear consistent across the data. This level of repeatability has strengthened the credibility of his work. Many believe that if his images had originated from an official source, they would already be regarded as groundbreaking. His images reveal clear lines, central brightening, and symmetrical flare. Features that only strengthen the idea that 3i Atlas may possess characteristics that don't fit natural comet models. In contrast, NASA's blurred presentation has raised questions about whether the agency is intentionally withholding detailed data. Critics have pointed to historical instances in which NASA live feeds were interrupted during the appearance of unusual objects, arguing this may be another example of selective transparency. As discussion surrounding 3i Atlas intensified, 
people began revisiting earlier interstellar anomalies, noting that NASA's imaging of Oumuamua had also lacked clarity. Once again, amateur renderings and simulations looked more structured than official releases. This pattern, when compared with Craggs' clear images of 3 eye Atlas, has led many to suspect a recurring hesitancy by NASA to share high-definition imagery of unidentified interstellar bodies. Some interpret this as a sign that these objects may have characteristics that challenge conventional scientific explanation. Public reaction to NASA's release continues to reveal widespread skepticism. Many feel that an agency with access to unmatched resources, powerful telescopes, and decades of expertise should not be outperformed by an individual observer. Some argue that NASA's explanation of a low quality image due to distance or angle doesn't align with the capabilities of the high resolution imaging science experiment, which has previously captured detailed surface textures on Mars from hundreds of miles above the planet. The response to Craggs' images demonstrates an increasing shift in the Aldous area public's trust toward grassroots scientific observation. For decades, NASA and other major agencies held near complete authority over space-related information. Yet with modern equipment becoming increasingly accessible, amateurs around the world are now able to observe celestial objects with astonishing precision. The emergence of platforms that allow instant global sharing of data has also empowered independent researchers. For many, Craggs represents a new era in which individual observers play a significant role in shaping public understanding of interstellar events. Craggs himself has remained composed amidst the growing attention. He has emphasized that his focus is on observation rather than speculation, though he acknowledges that 3 i Atlas is unlike any object he has photographed before. His calm approach has only strengthened his credibility. While others debate possible meanings, Craggs continues to refine his imaging, releasing updates and maintaining open communication with fellow astronomers. His willingness to share raw frames, processing steps, and equipment details has earned him respect across the global scientific community. Ultimately, the debate surrounding Craggs' images and NASA's official photograph reflects a larger shift in public expectation. People are no longer satisfied with vague, unimpressive images of significant interstellar events. They expect transparency, clarity, and timely updates. Craggs' work demonstrates what is possible when a single astronomer applies dedication and skill. His images stand as a powerful reminder that truth can emerge from unexpected sources. As the world continues to study 3 eye Atlas, the importance of independent observation has become more apparent than ever. Paul Craggs has shown that even without billions of dollars in resources, one determined observer can reshape the global conversation. His images, sharper and more detailed than those released officially, have prompted many to reconsider what they have been told, and to look deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. Because if a backyard astronomer can reveal structures NASA won't show, the question isn't just about equipment or budget, it's about what we're being allowed to see, and what we're not.